Rodney, welcome back. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, Sarah. So what, what drove the gains that came in better than expected and gave you confidence to lift the outlook? It's really solid performance across the whole company. Uh, every division was strong. Uh, we continue to connect better with the customer, and it's really the whole package of offerings that we do. Great uh, everyday price, uh, great promotional price, uh, incredible rewards, and a way to do that in a seamless way where a customer can shop online, uh, delivery, or, or just uh, shop in a store. So it's really all those things together. Just so proud of the whole Kroger team and what they're getting done. I did notice the 10.2% rise in the R brands, the private label brands. What does it say overall, Rodney, about how the consumer is doing right now? Yeah, if you look across the uh, c customer base, uh, it's really different customers are reacting uh, differently. Uh, Customers that are uh, really trying to stretch their budget uh, are aggressively looking for ways to do that. If you look at uh, our coupon downloads, uh, we had uh, downloaded 750 million coupons. Customers uh, moved to our brands. And what we find over time is when customers move to our brands, they love it. And then afterwards, they continue to stick with our brands. The other thing that our team has done a nice job on is introducing a lot of product innovation in our brands, and that's also showing up in that uh, north of 10% growth as well. So what is it, recessionary type behavior? Is it because of the inflation? How would you characterize what you're seeing from the consumer overall? Yeah, it's a great question, and we're actually seeing a little of, of both. And, you know, customers uh, that are really on a budget, they're telling us they're adjusting what they're doing. Uh, they're adjusting what they're doing outside of the grocery store. They're cooking more at home uh, because it allows them to have a meal they want uh, and from a healthy standpoint uh, to be able to manage it to their uh, preferences. Uh, customers that aren't even feeling any type of recession. They are a, a little concerned, so they are making sure that they're stretching their budget and uh, cooking more at home. So, you know, it's a great question. It's something that we look at uh, every single week. I would say that uh, people are, are nervous, but they're still managing through higher inflation, moving, uh, managing through the economy as well. Well, they're clearly prioritizing food, as we all have to. It's such a basic staple, and that's where the, that's where the household spending is going. Rodney, what's happening with food inflation? Are they paying more? Is, is that continuing to rise even as overall inflation may be coming down? Yeah, if you look at inflation, it, uh, certainly during the second quarter, it continued to increase. As we look through to the balance of the year, we will be starting to cycle some higher inflation a year ago. So we would expect some um, a little bit uh, more modification, a little bit slower inflation. The balance of the year, if you look at some of the raw materials, uh, in terms of corn, uh, different grains, uh, the inflation there is starting to come down a little bit. So we expect to still have inflation, but a little bit more manageable through the balance of the year. What's happening on pricing from the food manufacturers? Because they, they continue to talk about price increases, household products makers, price increases. Are they, are they just trying to protect their margins and, and sort of take advantage, or are the costs really not coming down? Yeah, the, they're, they're really trying to uh, manage their margin, and it's one of the things that uh, we feel so incredibly important to have a, such a strong R brands. Uh, if uh, the consumer product goods companies per, uh, pass along costs more than what the real economic costs are, our brand always gains share. And if you look right now in, in many categories, our brand is gaining share. Uh, so it's, it's a fine balance. Uh, they're, they're certainly uh, dealing with some inflationary pressures, and they're passing that along. Uh, but it also allows our brands to have an opportunity to gain some share as well.